there's about 360 acres of irrigation, 290 of that's flood irrigated river flats and the other 70 acres is permanent sprinklers and we run about 600 head. We've gone from just ordinary open irrigation channels to put rubber lining in to keep the weeds out, stop leaks around channel stops. The rubber lining is certainly made for more efficient irrigating. The water all goes where it's supposed to, when it's supposed to. We used to slash the grass out of the channel before we'd irrigate, so we're saving ourselves the time of cleaning the channel. To get the water out at the furthest point away from the pump took between five and five and a half hours pumping to get the water there. The flood irrigation is water siphoned direct out of the River Murray. There's about 24 megs a day comes through the siphon and we're probably on a six metre bay that works out to sort of nearly a megalitre per bay per irrigation. Where we're working on at the moment is replacing conventional open channel along what we call the back swamp, putting in pipe and riser. And once we get all the pipe and riser all in place, um, once you start the pump, the water will come out instantly available up the other end. You're probably saving a meg and a half to two and a half megs in filling the channel every time you water. That water is going straight out on your pasture instead of into filling the channel. If we have a drier season, we've got more efficient use of our flood irrigation. Long term, you, know, you work out the cost of, of pumping for five hours and the water that's being lost in the system versus going through the pipe and all that water and putting water straight out on the pasture. There's certainly efficiencies to be gained.